Dear viewers, welcome back to MTV Europe's General Election 2017 TV debate. Uh, today we are trying to find out which political party has the best to offer for Britain. Today I have been very delighted to be accompanied by Chris Wilford, MP candidate from Conservative, Alan Baxter, uh, MP candidate from Liberal Democrats, uh, Alistair Paulson, MP candidate from Green Party, uh, Mayn Ahmed, MP candidate from Labour Party. Thank you, uh, you know, all of you for joining us today. Uh, we were talking about whether this, the outcome of this general election will make Britain's position stronger in Brexit negotiation. So what's your take on it? Well, let's just be very clear about this, Adnan. This actually was an election that had nothing to do with Brexit. It was about the poll situation at the time. I suspect Theresa May is a little bit more concerned now. And also it was about the rumblings from her very right-wing backbenchers. And what we have now is a position where yet another Tory Prime Minister has taken the country to the polls, as David Cameron did last year with the referendum, to appease Tory backbenchers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Now, uh, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, that on segment two and three, we'll talk about par every political party's manifesto. Uh, on, our, on this segment, particularly, we'll focus on economy and tax, education, housing, environment, and transport. So if I may start with you, uh, would you be able to tell us five major economic pledges uh, from your party manifesto, okay. five five major economic uh, plans or uh, you know promises from your party's manifesto. Well, the most important is to eliminate the government deficit mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis over a five-year period. To create a national investment bank to make the investment into those industries that have been so run down across Britain. To bring the private rail companies back into national into national ownership, which is now backed by between 58 to 60 percent of the population, to close the gender pay gap, which should not exist in Britain in 2017, and to balance government spending with the amount that it actually raises in taxes, so that we actually never spend more than we earn. Okay, thank you, uh, thank you for that, uh, Chris. Would you be able to tell us five major economic pledges from your party's manifesto? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, um, we want to lock in the economic progress we've made, so eliminating the deficit by the middle of the next decade. Um, we also want to put a cap on variable energy tariffs. Mm -hmm. um, we are, want to build on our announcements in the recent budget to continue uh, record investment in infrastructure to ensure that a global Britain can get going. Um, we're coming on to tax later, but that is a big economic pledge, so we're mm -hmm. committed to low taxation, um, including reducing corporation rate and raising some of the thresholds. Um, and then finally, getting the right Brexit deal. You know, we're going to these negotiations. This is going to have a huge impact on every aspect of our life. Mm -hmm. To put in that thing, we need the right people doing that job, locking that progress. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Alan, if I come to you, would you be able to tell us five major economic pledges from your party manifesto? Um, so first of all, it's stopping the hard Brexit that people are trying to drag us into. Mm -hmm. So it's really important for our economy that we stay in the single market and that we have... So staying in the single market is one of the major... Yes, it's pledges. one of the major yeah. things, but also um, keeping freedom of movement mm -hmm. um, and having a sensible immigration policy. Uh, we want to set up a housing and infrastructure investment bank so um, developers won't build houses so the government will do that and we want to invest huge amounts in infrastructure as well including um, cross-country rail so rather than assuming that everyone needs to travel to London and um, that we uh, improve transport between our, uh, our major uh, cities. Mm -hmm. um, we also want to um, in terms of the economy uh, make sure that uh, the tax system really works for everyone. So we were the ones that brought in the increase in, in personal allowance in uh, coalition government and we'd want to carry on doing that and look at uh, how that works for national insurance. So are there people on minimum wage who uh, actually shouldn't be paying any tax and raising them yeah. out of that? Um, and then uh, we also want to increase investment in apprenticeships, so making sure that as an economy we're growing all of the time and we're investing in our young people and we're giving people opportunities to um, get involved in economic growth at, at all Thank times. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Alistair, what's your party's uh, five major pledges in terms of economy? Well, I think the Green Party has got some great policies, but to start off with Brexit, uh, we very we have a separate session for oh, Brexit. But, but I think that yes. staying mm. within the single, single market. European market is So Green Party wants to stay in the single market as uh, well? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and being able to mm. live and work and travel uh, and love within a single market is a great privilege. Uh, and it's a, a terrible thing to be thinking about uh, coming out of the single market. Uh, but uh, so far as other big economic policies, we would like to uh, reduce the working week from five days to four days. Uh, we think that we should have a universal basic income, and I'm happy to explain a little bit more about that, that it has the benefit of ending the poverty trap, sweeping away the stigma of benefits and uh, the bureaucracy that is attached to it, uh, and it will always make work pay. Uh, we want to transform the economy from one that is guzzling carbon uh, at an unsustainable rate to a completely carbon-free economy. We are blessed in this country with having wind uh, and uh, uh, wind power. We have uh, solar power that we can use. There was a, a, a huge spike in solar power generation today in the sun. Uh, more solar power generated today in the UK than ever before. That's the future for our country. Mm -hmm. uh, so we uh, want to also, uh, the other side of that is that we want to tax polluters. We think that we'll talk about tax pay. later. Yeah. We do have a session for tax okay. event. So that's, these are the uh, major pledges from your party's manifesto. Yes. Generating, one of them is generating income. Uh, through green energy. That's what Absolutely. You said. We want to transform the economy into an economy that is producing renewable uh, energy. For we have the technology. We happen again mm -hmm. to be very fortunate. Thank we you. have shipyards Thank and you. power stations that, uh, and all of that can be transferred into Thank producing you. Thank you for that. renewable energy. Thank you. I've asked you about uh, uh, economic, economic pledges, haven't yes. I? So if yes. I if I may start with you about uh, tax and VAT. Why, where does lever stand okay. in terms of tax and VAT? Will they increase the VAT? How about tax? 95% okay. of the working population will not have any increase in their taxes, their national insurance and no increase in VAT. 5% of the population that earns over £80,000 a year will have a small increase in the amount of tax that they pay. And how much is the increase? That has not been decided yet, but it will be a small increase. Okay. Um, we will guarantee the triple lock on pensions, which uh, pensioners deserve. They've worked hard on, put money into the pot all of their lives, and they deserve to keep it, it for it to be kept safe for them. And we will be asking corporations, large corporations, to pay more tax again at the moment after the tax cuts came into being, 122 billion pounds has been lost from the exchequer and we would like to retain some of that. However, we will still ensure that we still have one of the lowest tax regimes for corporations in this country. Okay, uh, but then, uh, so Labour wants to revisit uh, previous government's policy in terms of tax, particularly uh, you know the uh, 50p one uh, there is a threshold that yes. if people are that one but uh, uh, looking into detail the 10 percent of those uh, high earners they contributes 56 percent of the tax do you think if you tax them once again is fair well that's what lever is planning to do is well it? the a tax system is based on earnings and if the 50, if but that they are already paying 56 percent yes and if and but we're, we're actually talking about a, a small minority of people, 95% of the population will not have any tax increases. Okay, all right then, okay, thank you. Uh, Chris, if I, if I uh, come to you, what's your party's stand on tax and VAT? We have 2.9 million more people in work since 2010. We are very much a party believe that work must pay, and low taxation is a key part of that. Mm -hmm. So we've got several strands to our tax policy. First of all, in the coalition we did work with the Lib Dems to increase income tax. We want to raise that to 12,500 mm -hmm. within the next parliament. So increasing income. personal allowances. Yes, so you're mm -hmm. tax free when you're earning that. 
We also want to raise the upper limit threshold up to £50,000. So if you're earning up to 50000 you can keep more of what you're earning. VAT, we want to keep it frozen at 20%. We also want to reduce corporation tax to 17%. And then finally, we want to introduce referendums for council tax issues. If you're living in an area, you think council tax is too high, you can call a referendum thank you, to get thank it you, right. Thank you, thank you very much. Ellen, what's, what's your party stand on tax and VAT? Very quickly, please. So for VAT, we would keep it um, as it is. Our big tax pledge in this election is that we'd put a penny uh, on the pound in income tax, and um, that will raise an extra six billion pounds per year over the course of the next parliament for the NHS, and we're being very specific about that's exactly where um, that money would go. Mm -hmm. And there's been research done this week by the Institute for Fiscal Studies, which has shown that um, our manifesto pledges benefit the bottom 50% of the population much more than any of the other thank parties. You. Thank you, thank you very much. Alistair, what's your party stand on uh, tax and VAT? So we would want to gradually reduce VAT. We think that uh, consumer tax is not the right way to go. We think that we should, pro pro you should tax uh, income and profits. We would certainly want to increase corporation tax. Uh, it has been one of the biggest giveaways that this Tory government has undertaken, basically giving lots of money back to themselves or their friends or the people who pay for the party. Mm -hmm. uh, and we would uh, stop the uh, tax breaks on buy-to-let pro properties, uh, buy-to-let mortgages. That is a tax break worth £6 billion pounds a year. Mm. We would stop that and How we about would uh, invest VAT? that money mm. in more housing. Thank you. How about VAT? VAT, I said that we would like to gradually reduce VAT. We would like to move from consumer taxes towards taxing income and profits. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now, if I, uh, if I come to education, uh, would you be able to, uh, uh, Mayna Ahmed, uh, Labour Party MP Kennedy, would you be able to tell us two major education pledges from your party manifesto? We would ensure that the school the school cuts that have been suggested before that were suggested before the election, well, they will not go through. And not only will they not go through, but Labour will actually invest in schools in this country and the education system in this country because we know that the foundation for a strong economy is with our children and the next generation. And taking that further, we will abolish university fees. Okay, and how your party is going to fund it, right. abolishing tuition fee? So I spoke earlier about the corporation tax and the yeah. £122 billion pounds that the Exchequer has now lost. Some of it will come from the corporation tax and some of it will actually come from a levy of VAT on, pro so on school this, fees. So these uh, key promises has been thought through? Okay. Absolutely thought through. Yeah. In fact, our manifesto is the only manifesto that has had everything thank costed. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Chris, if I come to you, mm -hmm. uh, what's your party pledges on uh, education? Mm -hmm. We want to uh, raise a real term increase of £4 billion by 2022 mm -hmm. uh, for schools, ensuring that no school is left behind from 2018 with the new funding formula. Um, and we also want to introduce a new generation of technical schools uh, so that people with different skill sets they can develop and, and get their jobs. So that's, uh, those are two Thank flagship you. And how, how, how your party will We're fund, taking fund tough it. decisions on areas like pensions. For instance, we're moving away from the triple lock to the double lock. Um, and we want to stimulate our economy through reductions in corporation tax and other so areas. saving money okay, from our department and investing yes, in this Yes, exactly, to focus on the school children. There have been a lot of challenges. We've got a growing population. Mm -hmm. It's important that we try and, and address it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Ellen, what's your part stand on uh, education? Um, so first of all, we want to look again at the changes to the national funding formula and stop that from happening. Our, our mm -hmm. position is that rather than making cuts to schools, we should be investing more money so that everyone gains. Um, we want to uh, triple the people premium so that those who are from the poorest, most uh, deprived backgrounds get the investment and the help that they need in their education to make has sure it, has they it can been succeed. Has it true enough and uh, how your party will fund it? So the manifesto is fully costed, so the money will come from a number of areas and we're not planning to make cuts in other areas in education in order to, to fund that. So if, if Lib Dem got elected, they will regenerate money? Uh, they'll regenerate enough money mm -hmm. because they are not saving from other departments. 
So there are a number of initiatives in the, ma in the manifesto uh, that we think we will be able to generate income from. For example, a policy to legalise cannabis will generate Thank a significant you. amount Thank of income. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Alistair, what's your party stand on education? Uh, we have a number of policies for education relating to schools and universities. We would scrap... Two pledges. Two, two, two pledges. pledges. Yeah. We would scrap tuition fees mm -hmm. uh, and we would get rid of all existing student debt. Thank you. And how your party will fund it? Most of the funding for that is going to come from increases in corporation tax, okay. putting it back up to the levels it was before the Tories started cutting it. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. We'll listen uh, more from four of you on other key issues. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, today you are watching General Election 2017 TV debate at MTV Europe. We need to go for a quick break. Please stay with us.